Phil, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm still working from home, trying my best to uh, flatten the curve of that nasty coronavirus. And uh, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little bit stir crazy. So I'm playing around with my camera gear and seeing if we can get some cool time lapse footage of uh, my reef tanks. So while self-isolating throughout this coronavirus uh, epidemic, I guess we can call it now, I've had a lot of time to spend uh, just sitting there looking at the tanks and uh, I've noticed the time just flying by and I thought, hey, it's kind of like a time lapse. So I figured let's do some time lapse footage of the tanks, share them with you guys and great opportunity for me to play with some of my camera gear, which I'm happy to go over in another episode if anyone's interested but also just to get a different perspective of some of the uh, things in a reef tank. So I thought I'd grab some footage and I'll talk you through uh, what each of the shots are. All right, so this first shot here is just a uh, quick little time lapse of uh, my frosted rose bubble tip because it's a pretty, it's a very pretty piece in uh, my uh, soft coral tank. So I thought I'd grab some, uh, just some time lapse footage of that. Let's roll it. Okay, so whilst that uh, footage turned out pretty cool, there wasn't a lot happening. It was really just uh, the tentacles of the anemone waving around. So I figured this time, let's get the camera around from the front of it, well, to the side, I guess, of the NEM, so we can see the uh, trunk of it. And I'd give it a bit of food, and we'll see if we can see that food getting digested into the NEM. <laughs> pretty happy with how that one turned out. You could actually see the uh, trunk of the NEM like expanding and contracting, basically almost like when you see a um, snake eat something. You could see it for uh, all intensive purposes a little bit of prawn because you know we are down under and we love to chuck another shrimp in the anemone. So I put a little bit of shrimp in the uh, frosted rose bubble tip and you could just see it work its way down through the trunk which was pretty cool to see. I, I, full disclosure, I couldn't really tell that it was doing that in person. I could see that the NEM had changed a little bit but I could not see that um, expanding and contracting of the trunk or the foot or what stem or whatever you want to call them them I call it the trunk no scientific uh, backing behind that but it was cool to see so then on the same tank I figured let's uh, move the coral around because I noticed one of my big green rhodactuses was closed up it possibly got a little bit of the um, prawn when I fed the um, nem and it had closed right up like the uh, fairly do or fairly is a is a trademark of theirs I guess I'm starting to run out of words because I haven't spoken to many people for a while now so I'll put the time-lapse camera on that and uh, we'll see what the uh, Rodactus does. All right, next up, I brought out the uh, motorized slider to add a little bit of uh, pan to our time-lapse uh, footage. And I moved it over to my main, my big display tank. Uh, and I figured the most uh, movable things I had in the tank were my uh, leathers and uh, my Duncan. So I set the, uh, the time-lapse camera up on those. Let's see how they turned out. Thank you. 
Right, so whilst the uh, motorized slider added some really cool uh, sort of left to right uh, movement to the uh, footage, surprisingly the footage of the uh, leather and the Duncan probably didn't turn out all that good in that uh, all they really did was wave around a lot and it's probably due to the uh, fact that I recently cleaned my max spec guyers um, and they're pumping out a heap of flow at the moment so the, the leathers and the Duncans are getting absolutely smashed. It's a good thing though, I've got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, pest algae growing in the tank and I'm doing a treatment through the uh, tank at the moment, so I want as much water circulation as possible. Unfortunately for the um, time-lapse footage, maybe not so good. However, I figured while I had the motorized slider out, let's get a time-lapse uh, a little bit further back rather than focusing in on one part of a coral. Let's get some time-lapse and uh, slide that along the entire tank. Let's see how that turned out. That looked pretty cool, I guess, and um, I don't really have that much more to say to it other than if you've made it this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you. I'm going to close up with a uh, video non-time lapse, just a uh, motorized slider shot of my tank, just so you can see where it's at right now. As much for my purposes, so I can see what the tank looked like before and after the algae treatment. Um, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to these videos. I can't help but notice when I look at the stats of each video that I'm getting really high numbers of viewers that are watching the video but not subscribing. So if you haven't as yet, it doesn't cost you anything. It takes about 1.2 seconds of your time to hit that subscribe button. It makes a big difference to me. It helps me keep making these videos for you. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.